Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Traxel and I am the youth pastor here at Driven Youth Ministries here in Clawson, Michigan. I'm so glad that you could take time out to join us here today uh, and take time to look at our website. As you can see from our website, uh, we're a very active bunch and we've got a lot of things going on. Uh, we're called Driven Youth Ministries because we are driven with purpose and passion for the things of Jesus Christ. If you don't currently uh, go to a youth group, if you're not part of a church right now, uh, I would love to have you come down and join us. If you want directions, you can find directions on our website at www.drivenyouthministries.com. Check back with us periodically because we have a lot of cool things going on. One thing that we're updating on our uh, youth site is um, I'm going to bi-monthly as a youth pastor give a live blog and kind of maybe leave you with an inspirational thought. If you're a youth pastor yourself, come back and join us and maybe get some thoughts, uh, maybe things I say you could use uh, for your own youth group because I know dealing with uh, youth ministry stuff, it's nice to have other thoughts from other people. It's a lot easier um, doing that than trying to think of everything yourself, which can kind of get time consuming and can burn your brain out a little bit. Um, but one thought that I have for you today is about worth. Now in my hand here you can see, you see that on the camera, is a penny. A penny is something that every house has. You can find this on the street, you can find this in the corner of your couch, anywhere you look pretty much a penny can pop up. And the reason you see a penny is because not too many people take time to pick these little things up. Why? It's more of a waste of your time than what it is worth. A whole lot of these doesn't get you a whole lot. I'm not too old, but I remember going to Kmart, I could go and put a penny in a gumball machine and get a piece of gum out of that machine. Nowadays, a penny won't even get you a gumball. However, I have something else in my hand, and that, that's the real deal. That's a Franklin. We will stop to take time to pick up a Franklin. What is the difference with these two little things? Well, this you can't get a whole lot with. This, you can pretty much buy a lot of things. And the, the difference with the two is their value. I can get a lot with this, not too much with this. It would take 10,000 of these to equal one of these. The question I have for you is, do you want to take time to pick up 10,000 of these in order to get one of these? I don't think so. And I begin to think about that with God and how he found us. That you know, we try to gather people around us because they give us things. We try to uh, become a person of worth because we have a lot of things to offer people. But you know, really, the Bible says that Jesus came to save sinners, Paul said, of whom he is chief. He came to save people that didn't have a whole lot to offer him. In fact, Jesus said in John 15, 16 to his disciples, you didn't choose me, but I chose you. In other words, Jesus looked past what we didn't have to offer, and he loved us anyways. He went to Calvary and died and poured his life out for people that didn't really have a whole lot to give him back. But man, when he filled us with his spirit, it made us a person of worth. I want you to know that it doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter um, of what the things, your, your past, your life, what the things that you've gotten involved in. God sees you as something of worth. A lot of times we feel like this in this great big world. But God sees us as not just this but he sees us as a whole lot more, especially when we take time to allow him to fill us with his spirit and give us a new, a new life. I hope that you'll come back and join us. I hope that this thought could encourage you. I hope that you'll come back and see what else we're doing here at the Grace Apostolic Church and the Driven Youth Ministries. Come back and join us, be part of us, and uh, we would love to see you here for a great service. Have a great day and God bless.